My name is Susan Gerbic, and I'm the youngest child of a youngest child. That was to be the opening line of my autobiography. But as I'm not likely to ever find the time or talent to become an author, I guess I'll use my perfect opening line right now. My paternal grandfather, Frank Anton Gerbic, was born April 1st, 1864. To give you some perspective, that was a year before Abraham Lincoln died. He was born in what is now called Slovenia. My grandfather, not Abraham Lincoln. My father, Anthony John Gerbic, was the youngest child of Frank and Mary Skuska, which we have seen spelled many different ways. My grandmother, Mary, was also born in Slovenia. My father was born in 1919 in Euclid, Ohio. He left Ohio during World War II, where he served in the Seabees in the Pacific. He was demobbed at Angel Island in San Francisco and decided to stay in California. He got a job in a frozen food packing company in Salinas. My t- maternal family has been in America for over 200 years. The earliest ancestor we can trace is James Young, whose daughter Anna was born in the 1740s in Virginia. She married William Dale, who was also born in the 1740s in South Carolina. They got busy having babies, eventually ending with my unimaginatively named grandfather, John Dale, who was born in 1880 in Arkansas. My Aunt Peggy tells me that the family story she heard was that the Dales came from Germany, traveled to England, and then came to America. The other maternal family tree comes from a male ancestor living in Scotland with the last name of Finley, F-E-N-L-E-Y. His son, also born in Scotland, was named Eleven Finley, now spelled with an I, F-I-N-L-E-Y. Eleven, I suppose, was the eleventh child, and he was called Lev. He was born April 1769 and married Mary Taylor from Tennessee. Taylor is spelled T-A-Y-O-L. Their descendants eventually moved to Arkansas and gave birth to my grandmother, Myrtle Nora Finley, who was born in 1893 and died of tuberculosis at the age of 32. My mother, Tressie Nadell, was born in 1922, came to California picking fruit as there was little prospects in Arkansas. Her family was a strict Southern Baptist, and I'm sure she felt ready to move out as she was a bit of a prankster type. She eventually settled in Salinas with cousins. Through friends, my father, Tony, was introduced to a redhead, blue-eyed Tressie, whom he kept wooing until she finally agreed to marry him in 1949. I love being the youngest child of a youngest child. It gives quite a perspective on history. Just in the lifetime since my grandparents were born, so much has happened. It's hard to imagine, but in these old photos lives people with the same hopes, anxieties, dreams, and loves that I experience today. We may have an amazing technological divide between us, but we are closer than ever when I look into their faces and know that I am them and they are me.